Welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Dynamo Profiler, the Dyscalculia Assessment Program. Dynamo Profiler is the first simple, adaptive, online assessment program that is able to detect children at risk of developmental dyscalculia and developmental delays, as well as identifying the child's specific areas of difficulty. The assessment is suitable for children aged 6 to 9, and for those older than 9, their results will be compared against those expected of a 9-year-old. The Dynamo Profiler assessment can be built around the Number Sense MMR framework, which has been developed from neuroscience research on how the brain learns maths and bringing together the educational pedagogy. The Number Sense MMR framework is split up into three developmental stages. These are number meaning, represented by the roots of a tree, the number magnitude, represented here as the tree's trunk, and number relationship, represented here as branches and leaves. Number meaning is an essential stage of number development, covering concepts including one-to-one -one correspondence, Arabic numerals, subitizing, and counting. Number magnitude covers topics such as estimation, comparison, and sequencing, and aims to help the child gain an appreciation of the value of numbers. Number relationships is the foundation stage of maths, and begins to develop skills such as number bonds, number facts, addition, subtraction, time, etc. Dynamo Profiler reports the assessment results using easy-to-read graphical presentation, as shown here. The developmental dyscalculia symptoms are shown by number meaning and number magnitude scores, whilst a lower performance in number relationship is indicated as developmental delays. I will now show you how the assessment works. I shall log in here. This is where you enter your username and password. This screen is the teacher control panel. It shows the assessments that have been taken by names. You can see the status of each child, the date on which the assessment was carried out, and how long it took them. You can also see the number of times each child has retaken the assessment. To start the assessment, I will select the assessment button here. This automatically takes me to Tim Smith's account. It is important that we can monitor the child's approach, method, and thought process used throughout the assessment. Selecting the PDF document, we have the first option to print out the observation notes template. We have included a short guide and some useful tips on observing the assessment. Now, we will close the observation notes and move on to the next section by clicking here. We are then faced with an optional student profile questionnaire. Symptoms of dyscalculia are often observed by predisposed biological conditions and or co-occurring conditions. By completing the questionnaire, the interventionist will have a global learning profile of the child. This questionnaire is useful to capture the global profile of the child required by the SEND procedure. OK, let's start the assessment. We begin with a 30-second online game. Our aim is to use this as a warm-up game and settle the child's anxiety towards the assessment. It also confirms their visual association and keyboard skills. We shall now continue through to the next stage of assessment by clicking on Next. We can gauge the student's initial attitude towards maths, and this short question allows us to do so. Now we can begin the actual questions that make up the assessment. I shall proceed with the assessment now. Children can use paper and pencil. If they find the questions too hard, allow them to move on, as the assessment is adaptive. If they get a question incorrect, the test is made easier, whilst if they do better, the test is made more challenging. On average, the assessment will take between 25 and 35 minutes. Great. You can exit the assessment at any point, and you are offered the option to return at a later point if required. As I have ended the assessment prematurely, I am asked why. Once you exit the assessment, you have returned to the Student Assessment screen. The report can now be viewed. 
I will show you the report from the teacher account. If we scroll down to find Tim, we can view his report by clicking on this blue icon here. On the graph, the green and orange bars represent symptoms of developmental dyscalculia, whilst the blue bars represent signs of maths developmental delay. Each strand is scored out of 5, and a score of 5 indicates that the particular area is secure. The report also shows the time taken for each of the areas for improvement, and those that have not been attempted appear as dashes. By clicking on this tab, I can also view his performance profile. This is Tim's individualized intervention plan and scheme of work. This provides a description of each area of measurement, the attainment score, and a detailed comment. For example, in number as symbols, double digits, Tim scored 2, and the comment explains, you found associating numbers more than 10 to corresponding quantities challenging. The profile also shows the relevant practice modules in Dynamo Maths Intervention Program. You can also view the other assessments previously taken during the year by clicking on this drop-down menu. This is ideal for comparing results before and after use of the profiler. The remaining tabs allow you to view the student's profile and the observation notes previously made. The print button collates all of the information into a concise report, which can be shared with teachers, parents or external intervention service providers. This is useful towards the planning phase of the child's SEND procedure. Finally. We have the Templates tab in the menu to support the Send Code of Practice. For example, you can access the Learner Profile Questionnaire, Observation Notes, Templates, etc. In summary, the Dynamo Profiler is aimed at helping identify children at high risk of dyscalculia so that purposeful and intentional intervention can be offered. In our next tutorial, we will talk about Dynamo Maths the intervention program and how to add students. Thank you.